Hello baby guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I was gonna do like questioning memes but I kind of decided against it because I still had a lot of like general LGBT memes that I also wanted to cover. So some are gonna be about like questioning your identity but some are just gonna be some other good wholesome or less wholesome LGBT memes. So without further ado let's get started. Me, finally comfortable in my gender identity. Uh, sexuality, omni, pan, bi, gay. Well, <laughs> I feel you because sometimes it changes. Like I've heard a lot of people say their sexuality kind of changed. Like when they started hormones, just because they were like more comfortable with themselves and could then like figure out who they actually liked. And it's kind of funny. <laughs> Either way, um, good luck. <laughs> you said you were lonely, all the colors fade to grey. You say no one will date you, but have you tried being gay? Have you? Because listen, a lot of people, like a lot of guys say that dream girl is one of the guys, but just date one of the guys, you coward. Me, trying to talk about LGBTQ plus topics with my brother. God says homosexuality is a sin. Okay, well... Yeah, some people are kind of hopeless to talk about these topics. <laughs> Conservatives. Basic human rights. This is sin. Not even questioning it if it is, and just stating it is. Even though it's not. And even if it is, who cares? If you're not, like, committing sins according to some, like, hyper-religious people, are you even living? I think I'm a trans girl, but I occasionally feel like a boy, so I must be a man, right? But mostly, I feel feminine though, so I must be a femboy then, but... I also want to be a girl still, so I think I'm gender fluid, but I want to be able to get boobs still. Help? <laughs> still cis though. <sighs> the panic. Well, all I can say is it's not easy, but good luck. <laughs> a higher percentage of autistic people are LGBTQ+, because we already don't fuck with social norms. Yeah, I've also had this before, because I have ADHD, so I got a lot of autistic people as well, like on my feed, no matter on which platform I am on. And it seems to be quite common, because a lot of gender is just like ingrained socially and kind of like acted out because of social like expectations really. And for a group of people that kind of struggles to see the logic behind it, It's very much understandable that they would be queer. Like, especially apparently with like genderqueer and like non binary people, it's the case. So, honestly, I think that's kind of cool. <laughs> LGBT stands for let's go to bed. I know we're all tired. I know we all probably don't have a sleep rhythm. So, let's go to bed. A reminder that. You don't have to have a solid idea of who you are to be LGBTQIA. Your identity can be on its own spectrum. It can be vague. You own no one's specifics and your reasons for identifying with something are your own. Happy Pride. Yes. Honestly. If you care about the specifics and try to figure it out, cool. If you don't, cool. If you still need time to figure it out, also, cool. I know it's stressful, so it's not actually that cool, but it's okay. You know, like, who cares? Who cares? If you're queer, you're queer. And if you don't want to specify it beyond that, or you just can't at this point, that's okay. <laughs> For the straight folks who don't mind gays, but wish they weren't so blatant. You know, some people got a lot of nerve. Sometimes I don't believe the things I see and hear. Have you met the woman who's shocked by two women kissing and in the same breath tells you that she's pregnant, but gays shouldn't be blatant? 
or the straight couple sits next to you in the movies and you can't hear the dialogue because of the sound effects, but gays shouldn't be blatant. And the woman in your office spends your entire lunch hour talking about her new bikini draws and how much her husband likes them, but gays shouldn't be blatant. Or the hip chick in your class rattling a mile a minute while you try to get stoned in the dawn about the camping trip she took with her musician boyfriend, but gays shouldn't be blatant. You go in a public bathroom and all over the walls there's John Loves Mary. Well, that was long, but listen, it's so true. Because you hear this again and again of, oh I'm okay with gay people but they don't need to shove it in my face. People existing, or like showing any kind of affection to their partner or whatever, isn't shoving it in your face. Because if that is shoving it in your face and straight people are shoving, shoving it like so far in your face, you really can't escape it. Like if you're gonna be against like public displays of affection, you need to be against that for all people, you know? I mean, there's kind of a limit. Like personally for me, there's a limit where it kind of makes me uncomfortable, like with anyone really, mostly with straight people because straight people are the ones that do it really. like. We're just like full on making out and groping each other in public, especially if it's like during the day and there are kids around, then it's kind of gross to me. But apart from that, if you're just like holding hands or giving each other like kisses, who cares? Like, great that you have a partner that you're comfortable with and happy with. Like, <laughs> queer love that should get more attention is queer friend love. It has kept me alive, fed me, gave me a safe home, loved me at my best and worst and nurtured me. They modeled healthy family dynamics in a way that made me feel safe and excited about life again. Yes, mm -hmm. honestly, having queer friends, like other queer friends, is legit the best thing ever. Because you just automatically feel so understood and safe. And it's just great. You know? <laughs> Us, desperately needing queer representation in media, the Owl House. Now I've seen a bunch of memes about this show, I haven't actually seen the show. I think I definitely need to add it to my list though. Some gay art, it's a unicorn goat, <laughs> which honestly is pretty cool. Kinda love that the rainbow is a little bit upside down, um, <laughs> but yeah, it's really cool. Hey Tess, look at this DM. I just wanted to say the art for your comic is good, but I have some advice. Keep your politics out of your comic. You have potential and I'd hate to see it ruined by something careless. Comics are supposed to be a fun distraction. What? Uh, in a few of your comics, it's insinuated that the blue and red character are together. You shouldn't introduce these kind of politics. The risk isn't worth it. Uh, how should we respond? I have an idea. I like your idea. <laughs> Why do you care so much? If you think someone being queer is automatically like shoving a political agenda down in your face, you kind of, um, yeah, don't do it. <laughs> Some more art of representation just because we need more of it. Oh my god, look at those cute couple. Yeah, they're really cute together. So, um, who do you think is the top and the bottom? I'd say it's definitely none of your business. Yeah, can we please don't get involved in other people's sex lives? Unless they obviously clearly want you to, but some random couple walking down the street clearly doesn't want you to. Like, it's none of your business. It really isn't. It's weird. Stop sexualizing gay people, like, the second you see them. Mom. Remember, sweetie, it's rude to stare at someone in public. Also, mom, when she sees two dudes holding hands in Walmart. Yeah. Why are people like this? Gays. After finally deciding to come out, I have contained my gay for as long as possible. Well, it does feel like that. Like... <laughs> Sometimes you just can't hold it in anymore, you know? And the urge to out yourself with jokes 
is too strong that at some point you just have to come out, you know? Now, are you a longsword, a glock, a battle axe, a taser, a quarterstaff, an assault rifle, a pitchfork, or a nightstick? Well, <laughs> this is really cute. And I, I think straight people should be glad we, we don't actually own weapons because I'm joking. For the love of God, I am joking. Anyways, moving on. Homophobes, beware, LGBT people are going to recruit you and make you gay. Meanwhile, LGBT people. Bro, I, I picked up a duck, how do I put it back down? <laughs> Why would you want to put the duck down? If you manage to successfully catch a duck, just like sit there happily with it on its lap, with it on your lap. Who cares? Like, there are worse problems to have than having a duck as a pet. Being confident in sexuality. Switching preferences every day. Bi, pan, or abrosexuals. Um, mm. Honestly, I love these memes. I love these memes. Now, I realize I haven't talked about abrosexual before, so I'm just gonna include the definition and the flag if I find it in the middle of this video. And what does abrosexual mean? Someone who is abrosexual has a fluid sexual orientation. They experience different sexual orientations over time. Well... Okay. This... Ah, uh, okay, so for some people, it apparently kind of like switches between maybe like being gay and bisexual or between pansexual, asexual and demisexual. Okay, so I mean, truth be told, sexuality is so incredibly fluid in general that it's very like understandable, to be honest. Um, and I do think like it varies like from person to person, like heterosexual, I mean, if it's a sexuality that's fluid, it's gonna make sense that it's like completely different from person to person, you know? Um, so this is the flag. It's, I've seen this before um, and forgot about it. Anyways, it kind of reminds me of strawberries and apples. It looks like summer. Well, anyways, um, the struggle of having a fluid sexuality or like one that just might make you feel a little bit different, like if you buy or pan or, or anything on that spectrum. The the whole bicycle of maybe like having phases where you're like more attracted to men or women or non-binary people is kind of a struggle because then you're just gonna keep questioning yourself. <laughs> but again, I love these panic memes. It's just it's funny to me, you know. <laughs> Titty constrictor. Honestly, if I see a snake in these in like in this color scheme, I'm gonna be a little bit scared because it looks really toxic. Like venomous, not toxic. Anyways, the point is it's funny art. <laughs> I'm Pan, I tell my friends. Oh, that's great man, we support you. Thanks for coming out, they say. I sigh deeply. I meant that I am Pan, god of the wild. I truly am forgotten in this modern age. Oh well. <laughs> Men, trying to convince me that guys is a gender neutral term, but when I ask them how many guys they've slept with, they take offense. You know, keep the same energy. If you want to say it's a gender neutral term, then you gotta see it as a gender neutral term. A kiss between two women photographed in the 1910s. Uh, I don't know what to think. Maybe sisterly or homosexual perversion. Friends were really close back then. Ah yes, the good old gal pals. Well, I'm a little bit concerned if for the person who thinks this might be a sisterly kiss. I have never seen two siblings kiss like this and I'm really glad I haven't. People acting like gay people didn't exist until 2020. Stranger Things characters being LGBTQ plus is unrealistic. It's the 80s. There is a Demogorgon on the show. Like, be serious. 
yeah, I do think I would have a harder time believing the Demogorgon than someone being queer in the 80s. You know, just, just by a little bit. Chris Evans says homophobic like your critics are idiots who will die off like dinosaurs. Not when it comes to children who don't even understand their own sexuality yet, but they could see a straight couple kissing in the film and that wouldn't be an issue, right? Y'all seriously do not understand that homosexuality is not normal. And who decided that? Also, why are you so dumb? Like, I mean A, with all the unnatural things, like clothes to a huge extent aren't like natural anymore, they're not like freshly shorn wool and whatever. Technology isn't natural if you want to go that route. A lot of things aren't natural. Most things about a food aren't natural anymore. Listen, homosexuality is what you want to come for? Oh well. Oh my god, Shepard! She's so beautiful! Oh, don't be jealous, Yara. You're pretty too. Uh, I'm not being jealous, Gara. I'm being gay. <laughs> yes. Women are pretty. What more can you say about that? Saturday night. Just two guys chilling with their alcohol in bed. It's not unusual for men or women to sleep together platonically in the late 19th or early 20th century. Each man shared a bed with... Quick, quick? Is that his name? In Moby Dick. Abram Lincoln had a friend he often shared a bed with. Without mechanical heating system, it was often necessary. Okay, A, these guys are getting drunk together and are just sleeping in the same bed for heating. And also, if you want to share a bed with the homies, cool. If you want to cuddle with your homies, cool. But again, none of you who say shit like this would ever like platonically sleep in the same bed with your homies. But you don't want to admit that because then you would have to admit that people are gay. What a shocker. <laughs> oh, she totally loves him. Oh, she totally loves him. Oh, he totally... Oh, oh, wait, they're both guys? Oh, oh, well, then that's completely platonic hand-holding. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're staring lovingly into each other's eyes and grasping hands and making deep emotional statements in a brotherly way. There's, there's absolutely nothing even vaguely romantic about the scene. At all. Not at all. Well, i pretty sure I haven't seen the Star Trek movie, but listen, if you want to show affection to your brother, or like, a friend, again, I'm, I'm totally cool with it, go off, like, you know, I'm, honestly, I think it's really, like, it's really good to see, like, people who have, like, healthy friendships, and, like, are, like, okay with, just, like, casually, like, hugging each other and stuff, because it's, like, normal. But you can't really, like, do this without seeming stupid. Now we have some YouTube comments under a Stranger Things video. Please, just let lesbian characters be lesbians. Girls and boys can be friends without having romantic relationships. Please, just leave my lesbian Robin alone. Why? Who would be her love interest, lol? She's just going to be lesbian for no reason? Like, no other character is lesbian. It would be better if her and Steve were together. For you saying like, ah oh, bro, she's a lesbian accepted? Like, how do you know that for sure? I think they would be cute together. Okay, first of all, she literally came out as a lesbian in season 2. Wait, season 3. And what do you mean she's just gonna be a lesbian for no reason? That's, that's not how sexuality works. You don't only turn lesbian when you have a love interest. That's not how this works. Y'all... What? <laughs> Leave Robin alone, please. Let her be gay. Admiring the stockings, 1940s. <laughs> 40s commercial announcer voice. What's better than this? Gals being pals. 
Fun fact, though being gay in the 40s sucked, being gay in the military was easier and pretty common. They were, there were apparently at one point in time so many lesbians in the military that when they tried to crack down on it, the girls wrote back and said, look, I can give you the names, but you lose some of your best officers and like half your nurses and secretaries. And they pretty much just shut up about it unless someone, unless you were especially bad at subtlety. Sergeant Phelps worked for General Eisenhower. Four decades after Eisenhower had defeated the Axis power, Phelps recalled an extraordinary event. One day, the general told her, I'm giving you an order to ferry those lesbians out. We're going to get rid of them. I looked at him and then I looked at his secretary who was standing next to me and said, Well, sir, if the general pleases, sir, I'll be happy to do this investigation for you, but you have to know that my name will be the first on the list. Honestly, the military itself seems very anti-queer. So it kind of makes me happy to know that at some point, at least, it was an easier place to be gay. Why is <laughs> this story will forever be legendary, by the way. <laughs> Damn, I know you have the bi flag in your avatar, but you're like the straightest girl I know. You're more boy crazy than the average girl, and just like... Fujoshi's, I don't know who this is, you're obsessed with gay men who want nothing to do with you. Uh, I'm a guy. I need a timestamp on this because then there's a comment below from the same person that just says, I guess who's not a guy anymore. Well, they also have the agenda flag in their profile picture, so, um, well, you can be boy crazy and be a guy. You can be agender and be boy crazy. You can be any gender and be boy crazy. Do whatever you want. <laughs> Good omens. Why Crowley and Aziraphale are friendship goals. Okay, like, I know they never, like, clearly stated that they were dating. But A, very much bickering old couple, like, old married couple vibes. And secondly, they're very clearly flirting. A lot. <laughs> um... Let people be gay, you know? <laughs> a kiss between American soldier and Soviet major during World War II celebration in Germany, 1945. A possible example of the socialist fraternal kiss, though the Soviets wouldn't have normally greeted Americans in that matter. What happens in the occupation zone stays in the occupation zone. Ah yes, they were socialists. I... I have no words, because this, this, again, doesn't look like how you would, like, kiss your brother, you know, but apparently it is how you kiss uh, your socialist comrades. I don't, what? <laughs> Cara Delevingne shares a very passionate kiss with a mystery female friend who clutches a brook celebrating female desire during sunshine break in Portofino. Ah yes, I always share a very passionate kiss with a mystery female friend as well. What are you doing? And also, just the fact alone that this woman is holding a book celebrating female desire is pretty gay. And also, this kiss itself is very gay. Carol Delevingne is apparently bisexual. Like, le let, let her be bisexual with her girlfriend or date whoever in peace please complete the sentence oscar loves duo they're very good friends well if both of these were people i would say that is a bit dismissive but i'm also all for loving your friends so i one of them is a is an owl i mean come on it's it's fine it's fine they're just very good friends but don't take that out of context, because normally I am very against people saying someone's just friends when they're very clearly dating. Don't do it. Happy Pride. So excited to celebrate with all my LGBTQIA plus friends and fans. Wonder Woman is not a superhero for gays. A. If gays like Wonder Woman, then she is a superhero for gays. Secondly, apparently Wonder Woman is canonically bisexual. And also, she lives on an island with only women in what is basically 
the biggest polyamorous family you will ever meet. So, I don't think any of this sounds straight, you know? Stay hydrated. Do you have any holiday weekend plans? I have to march in the parade. Uh, starting to get my partner moved in. Other than that, not really. Well, that would be good to get your roommate roof moved in. Ah yes, they were roommates. I know it says the name originally, not partner. Um, but I'm pretty sure they've like introduced that person as their partner to their dad. But no, apparently they're just roommates. Oh, my gay is hard. How and why are they showing to this to kids? They've always shown kissing in cartoons. That's a man and a woman. Those are rats. Actually, they're mice, but still. The dead? A. The Mickey and Minnie Mouse kiss looks way grosser because it looks like kind of inappropriately kissing versus the one on the top is just adorable. That's what I was saying earlier, like levels of PDA. You know, <laughs> I, I'm not gay, but damn. Well, it's okay to compliment another man, bro. It's okay. Well, to be honest, I'd screw him. See, now that's gay. Exactly. There's a difference between thinking a man is just, like, good-looking and attractive and thinking he's incredibly sexy and you want to get with him. You know? But, um... Yeah. <laughs> A man who claims his dick is good enough to turn a lesbian straight must logically conclude that dick good enough to turn him gay exists. Why did you have this as a discussion? That's not gonna end well on Reddit, I think. But listen, yeah. If a dick good enough exists to change someone's sexuality, then that works in any direction. Like you can't, you can't cherry pick this. Man, work is so crazy. I don't even have time to make food. You should get a wife. You know what? That could work. Uh, honey, I'm home. Welcome, honey. <laughs> well, I think it was the gay video where we said people who can cook. And also, everyone should be able to cook at least a little bit. Because if you can't really take care of yourself, you know, but... Yeah, I guess that works. God, why does this seem to hurt people so much? Oh my, like, okay, whatever. She don't want to date you. Get over it. She's expressing that she wants you to be a part of her life through friendship, and you're too busy trying to figure out why that's a bad thing. Plenty of fish in the sea. Uh, I always agree with you, but sometimes men are lonely and want something more than friends. I expect it more from you. I'm literally standing right here. I'm in love with you, and you're too busy thinking about her. What is this? <laughs> what is this storyline? But listen, if you're rejected, like of course no one likes being rejected, but don't be a dickhead about it. Like no one is obligated to be interested in you in that way. You know, and if you're lonely, cool, and someone turns you down, of course it sucks at first, like you're allowed to be upset about it, but don't take it out on that person because they're not obligated to do anything. And just like look for someone else and if you vibe with them and they want to be friends with you i i really don't see the issue you know 1995 oh my god that's my husband what 2021 oh my god that's my husband what haha <laughs> homosexuality bad hey listen you know what's really bad cheating no matter if you're married to a man as a man or as a woman don't cheat. Listen, what are you doing? Looking at the thumbnail, my first thought was, that blonde chick is really ripped. To be fair, they really are ripped. But that's not a chick. That's information I could have used five minutes ago. Well, that's on you, my guy. That's, that's on you. You're gay now. I'm sorry. Uh, bro, me and Jessica just broke up. What? Why? 
We fought last night about me drinking with you lately. So she let me choose love or my friends. Whoa, so you mean you say you chose your friends over love? No, man, I chose love. I, I love you, bro. Again. I mean, if you don't love your friends, why are you friends? But anyways, I would like to also point out that just making people or like giving people any kind of ultimatums in a relationship is just incredibly toxic. What are you doing? Like, honestly, I don't think it's a bad thing that you broke up because that that's just weird. And also, yeah, open communication and all that. Like, if you feel neglected because your partner's spending a lot of time with, like, other people, then talk to them about it. And not in this way. Uh, can I borrow a pencil? Um, imagines the wedding. Welcome to McDonald's. Can I take your order? Uh, imagines the wedding. Bro, you really gotta stop daydreaming. Um, imagines the wedding. Yeah, I think maybe he should daydream a little bit less, but... Listen, my guy's bisexual and struggling. Man, titties are life. One comma. Just one comma. Changed your entire sexuality. I mean, I kind of read it in the way he originally meant it, because I said, man, titties are life. But he did actually say, man, titties are life, so... Well... Why are we assuming he's gay? Like, no, wait, why are we assuming he's straight? Maybe he actually meant man titties. We don't know that. <laughs> Either way, I think that's actually a great note to end on. I'm a little bit distracted by the man titties. I'm sorry. Anyways, I hope you had fun. Um, I hope you really liked it. You can comment down below which video so far you liked the best. Because there were a lot this month. And Pride Month is almost over, which is kind of sad. But like I said, there will still be a lot of queer videos after Pride Month. So don't worry about that. Um, but either way, for now, I'll be going, and I will see you in two days with some Pride Month specific memes. Mostly, I think we'll be making fun of companies jumping on the Pride train. But anyways, uh, see you in two days. Um, until then, I hope you have a good Pride Month, or continue to have a good Pride Month, and yeah, I will see you in two days.